I am Dave, and this is my life. Hey, hope you're enjoying your day, afternoon, and your evening. Here we are on the lovely third planet. That rock, you know, that we live on, planet Earth, that's the one. Thanks for watching. If you're a kid who is from the 90s, like me, you'll remember great things food wise from the 90s. Still around. And they actually made cereal out of the jungle Rose, number one. Number two. What was number two? Chips Ahoy had a little bit in the 90s. I don't know if it was had to have been mid to late 90s. I don't know. No, I was saying before is Chips Ahoy had something similar except no frosting. They were Chips Ahoy sticks. Same thing, except obviously they're two different companies. This one is made by the Nas National Biscuit Company. Yes, I do know my history. Thank you, History Channel. Alright, so what are we doing here? Why are we here? Not for an earth or anything like that, but I found something really cool at my local Aldi's. It being these sticks with the frosting. Now, the other cool part of that is it reminds me of the old fashioned 90s treat that I had as a kid, Gunk Roost come in these little, very cute pouches. Adorable, right? Mm, I like them. They're very cute. So there is uh, three in a pack. I don't know if you can see this. Got three in a pack. Alright, let's open it up and see what it is like. And as you can see, it is what it is. You have the frosting on one side and the Oreos on the other. Alrighty, here we go. Main event. Frosting, by the way. Here we go. Frosting taste. Good. Tastes like an Oreo. Frosting, that is. Alright, so. Here we go. Bite number one. Okay, I'll shut up and eat this. We're gonna do a bite without frosting. Chocolatey. And just like an Oreo. Dipping number two. Dipping number I'm just going to eat the whole pack and I'll be right back. Hmm. More. Well, I'm not back. They give you three stacks of Oreo. And each stack comes, well, one Oreo. So, really... I like, and it tastes like an Oreo. And everyone was like, duh. I just wanted to let you know. This is a mini Oreo, essentially, except in stick form, and not in the round individual packs that 
randomly, I got them at Aldi's. My mom and I were at in uh, in a wheat field. Yeah, it's Aldi's. So thank you to Aldi's for giving me a YouTube idea number one. But also number two, having these. I was kind of surprised because I have yet to find these in any store. And they got racks of them. I must have just got the shipping in. Thanks again. Now for me, my typical thing is regardless of what it is. It's nachos and cheese, or Oreo cookies and frosting, or eggs with dipping sauce, whatever it is. I always want more dip anything frosting cheese i don't care locked over than whatever i'm eating or dipping reason being is because yeah i just want to make sure there's enough left and that's really it I, parents are like why do you do that i'm like i always want more left over than there was this because it could be erased however there's been times when I'm dipping and eating and whatever I ran out of dip before I ran out of stuff to eat so that's why I always do less stuff or I even it out really too I'm pretty sure I always have more left over. Here's the second. This is really good, by the way. And this time we will be breaking it in half and actually making an Oreo. Now, I love Oreos so much. Maybe you've seen my other part of the vlog channel where I eat Oreo cereal. That is good and it really does taste like an Oreo. However, the milk in the cereal does not subtract to for the frosting. Still good though. You can get that at Walmart. These you can get at Aldi's. Now I don't know if anybody else has these, but Aldi's does. So I don't know how much these were. So if you want to look for them. They are in an oldies and kind of wheat field. At least that's the only place I've seen them. Just doing the best go. The National. I used to know this too. Ah, yes. National Biscuit Company. Which is actually what Nabisco is. Now for me. On a personal level. I love to have more. Whatever the case is. So this case is frosting then cookie I would want to have frosting off over if I have enough for the cookie remaining that is my plan that is what I'm thinking too so it's the Nabisco Oreos except this is called Handy Snacks with that uh, do you plan to try these do you like these have you tried them yeah with that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, and your evening, wherever you are, in the lovely planet Earth. Thanks for watching. However, if you can find these in the store, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the lovely comments. And the like button, all that stuff, do that too. Do the sharing, do the liking, and do the commenting. If you tried these and found these, let me know what you think. And if you tried them and thought, oh, all right, whatever, let me know too. There is six in a box. And I will continue to eat. I am hungry. And you're like, why? And I'm like, I'm 119 pounds. I'm starving for no reason. I don't even know why I'm losing the weight. Which is awesome. Mm.
Maybe I'm emptying out for Thanksgiving. American Thanksgiving, that is. Which is in November. I'd be good with that excuse. I don't think my doctors would be or my parents, but it's the only one logical one that makes sense to me. of your day, afternoon, and new evening, if you are on planet Earth. Hmm. Chips Ahoy had packs, packets of Oreo cookies. Oh, that was really wrong. Okay. <sighs> I must be tired. Mm. Try it again. Because that was on my mind a few seconds ago. I'm <laughs> too, too. To this day, I have to be tired. So, now, if you're a kid like me, <laughs> Let's try that again. You can buy at, uh, let's say, Dollar General, Walmart, Target. Be damned if I can remember where I got these from. Oh, wait a minute, I do. Yeah, I don't know why either. Where the hell was I? This lovely Oreo box. No, oh, okay. It's an Oreo box. Definitely. Well, take a look. They're actually an empire right now and a monopoly, but nobody talks about the monopoly. Different topic, different day. 